Fabiano, welcome to Sinkfield Cup. Um, uh, what about the previous Sinkfield Cup? Is it still fresh in your memory? It's actually finished not that long time ago. Yeah, it's funny. Um, it's kind of recent. I, I even intellectually can understand it's recent, but I feel like it's years ago already. Because since then there was like preparation for candidates, actually playing candidates and then a bunch of other tournaments. And especially when it comes to like the candidates, you feel like everything else is a distant memory. So the last year of the Sinkfield Cup, which I think we played in December, was it? I was, or I think November, December, November, something December, yeah. like that. But you won it, yes? Do yeah. you remember at least I that you that. managed yeah, yeah. to win? I remember that. Uh, but it was a strange event because we had this very unfortunate um, instance where young Christoph Duda got ill and wasn't able to finish the tournament. So it really kind of spoiled, let's say, the natural competitive feeling of the tournament, right? We played eight games instead of nine games and so on. But for me, it was a good tournament. I, I won three games. The end was very smooth. I, I managed to win and to avoid even a playoff, which was very likely to happen with Lenier, that I would have a playoff. But I managed to win the last game and clear first, it all went very well. Yeah, it was a really great event. What do you think makes uh, Sinkful Cup so special compared to the other top events? I think that has been going on for so many years and has such a rich history. Uh, so 2013 was the first year and it was already a very unique event. It had Magnus, Levon, Hikaru, Gadakamski. So it was just like kind of Americans against the rest of the world. And in 2014, of course, some very fond of personal memories for me, my best performance that I've ever had. And I remember every year very clearly. I remember the winner, 2015, 2016. And uh, I remember all my games, even in 2015, it was such a unique event. It was the year that Levon won. But in the second round, I played Magnus, and we were extremely like competitive because there was this kind of small rivalry, and we were very close in score. I think I was even like at some point ahead in score against him. And then when I played with the white pieces. I lost my first game to Levon, and uh, we get a very tense, complex position. But we're playing without increment, and we're both like thinking uh, oceans of time because we're trying to figure out this, we're both trying to win the position. It's very clear that we're both trying to play for the win. And we both get down to like 30 seconds and I end up running out of time. I was already losing, but like two moves before I was losing, I was also winning. So it was one of those games. And unfortunately for me, that was the end of like the good tournament. You start with two losses, you have no good chances to win. But yeah, I remember that game very clearly. Of course, not in a good way, but, uh, <laughs> but still. And yeah, every year I have some like either fun memory or some interesting memory from this tournament. Yeah, that's really great, yes, and I mean, the event, we'll see what will happen with this event, but what is also interesting that right after the Sinkfield Cup in 10 days, you're going to play in the Olympiad in Budapest, so what do you think about it? Um, how important is it for you to play for the American team? What are your thoughts about uh, the chances to win the Olympiad? Yeah, the Olympiad is a very important and I think a very special event. Of course, we have a really strong team, but it's not a guarantee for anything like we saw two years ago that even though we had a very similar team to now uh, and, and a very, very strong team and the number one seeded, it wasn't enough and we were like far behind always from first place. And in the end, Uzbekistan won. It was a big surprise. Very young team, only young players and and a lot of them not very established at the time. Now now they're more established, right? Noterbeck and Sindarov and so on. But yeah, it's it's a very, very special event and I, I hope we can do well. So our, our team, I don't know, if like it's public yet, if I should say it, who all the players are, but... Yeah, I mean, we, we know, I think, already. Ah, it's already, it's already, it's already known, announced, yeah. yes. It's, yeah it's, do you think you have a great team spirit in general, I a think good so. connection between yeah, the players? I, I have good relations with, with the players on the team. Uh, Levon, uh, I've worked with. Lenier, I've worked with as well. We've, we've always had good, very good relations. Uh, Wesley has always been like one of the really steady players on the team. Like he always has a good performance. So definitely, I think he'll be a very important asset to the team. And, maybe our biggest scorer. And and Ray Robson also has played on the team before and one of the best players in the country for sure. Very, I think also he has very good chances to, to score really well. So I hope I can play well and then maybe we have a good shot. And my last question, I would like to ask you about your podcast with uh, Christian Kirillo. Of course, it's really important for the chess world. You, ha you have so many unique insights from you and from Christian. Uh, but I was wondering what um, has hosting your podcast given you uh, that you didn't expect? Like maybe some uh, has influenced your thinking or your, you got some special emotions from doing it. Yeah, I think that I do think about the like events in the chess world more from like not my own emotional personal point of view but also like trying to find what the unbiased way of thinking about things is 
because I'm, I'm also involved in so many of these events in some way or another. So I always have like my kind of biased personal view, right? But then when you're kind of speaking to the public, you also have to think like, what is the truth? Not just what, what do I feel emotionally, but what is the truth and, and what should I say about it? And also in the last few years, like since we started, we started in like August, actually a bit, of, maybe a bit after August, but more or less around that period, August, September of 2022. And then this was like the most crazy period in the last few years of chess, as, as everyone knows, it even started here in the Singfield Cup. And since then, a lot of events have happened. We've spoken about two different candidates, the one which finished in 22, the one which happened recently, and uh, a lot of events that are uh, a world championship match also. And now another one is going to happen. So a lot of interesting things. And I've, I've definitely thought about um, the chess world in a slightly different way. Yeah, that's absolutely great. Looking forward for new podcast episodes. Thank you so much, Fabian. All the best of luck for you in Singapore. Thanks very much.